Welcome! Welcome to the stream, motherfuckers! We're playing Zelda today. And just like that, Edgy Gamer has now been <laughs> fucking... <laughs> uh, goddamn, what was it called? That's alright. I've not been on YouTube all, like, all day. Um... Demonetized. There we go. I've been demonetized before I was even monetized. It's fucking wild, bro. Um... <laughs> yeah, let's not get too specific now. Can we can we not? I'm trying to let everyone know I'm online. I like to do a funny message, but I can't think anything. I'm pretty brain dead right now. Huh? Literally under me entirely. Okay, let's go ahead and hold this up. And cuz as you guys know, I really can't like, you know. I can't particularly like use the TV. Like I can. But it looks fucking awful. Like on my hand, on my actual like Wii U gamepad, the game looks so much better because it's like the size it's supposed to be. But when I look up, I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Mm. Yeah, it, no, no, it looks awful. See how pixelated it is? Not, that's not even that's not even saying nothing. Did I hit that? Like, let's see here. What's wrong with my me? My me looks better than your me, bro. Mama Mia looks better than yours. What's taking so long? I was about to leave. God, I can't read right now. What's taking so long? I was about to leave you here, Link. What? Linebeck, what are you go going on about? I suspect that we're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Don't you suspect that the light that that needs finding is really... A shiny treasure. I really don't think so. <laughs> anyway, let's head back to Murkay Isle. Hmm, haven't forgotten anything, have you? Okay, let's be off. Oh. Damn. Hey, ask, ask me if I forget. Immediately fucking leaves. Doesn't even give me a fucking chance to think about it. Is this Murkay? It's Cannon Island. To go back to Murky Isle, so we're going back to Murky Isle. Thankfully, I didn't draw a line directly into the goddamn. Uh... Oh god, I forgot how you turn. Bro, we're 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 giving Breath of the Wild a run for its money right now. That's all I'm saying. Like this exploration is wild. <laughs> it's fucking awful. Bro, we're not we're not looking at the Yoshi Island, okay? We're not worried about the Yoshi Island. We're worried about the what the fuck? What am I supposed to do about that? What per se do I do about a giant golden frog? Bro, hello? Is it Is it a One Piece reference? I don't know. I've never seen One Piece. So I never got to see how he became Hokage. I like this music. This music's pretty good. You know, regardless of the Zelda game, the music is almost always good. That's like, you know, that's that's like uh, like Breath of the Wild. When it does play music, it's good. But goddamn, that game never plays any fucking music. What's in here? Hello, my man. You you good? What the fuck? I got a battle wheel. Go to the shipyards to customize your ship. All right. Hello. You found yourself in the shipyard. Want to customize your ship? If you've got the parts. Ooh. A wheel? Mm. Fuck it, bro. Hell yeah. Why is there so many options? That's, that's a lot of options for a tiny fucking DS game. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I don't know if you actually fight people with it or not. I'm not swapping out your parts. Stop by any time if you want to change them. Your ship's stamina will go up if you use parts from the same set. Experiment. What do you mean by sh my ship's stamina? What exactly determines a ship's stamina? Or sorry, what exactly does ship's stamina mean? Okay, that's that's my confusion. Like it can have stamina, but what the fuck is it supposed to mean? I don't I don't think I understand. I think I feel like I missed a page. 
as always. Random lady. Random other people. Um, who would I even go talk to? Who would I even go talk to right now? Like, oh, bro, what is this? What is this fucking job on this bridge? What the fuck? This does not look regulated. This looks terrible. My man, yeah, Dylan's right. My man's got wood drilled into fucking concrete. Fucking wild. Where's the old guy at? The whole reason I came here is so I could talk to the old man. And he's just ignoring me. I can't remember, can you talk to the fairy? Bro, if old man died while I was gone. If he decided to, like, you know, turn over and decide just to pass out and die for the rest of this playthrough. Ignoring me? See you later then. Damn. My bad. God, you got some soulless fucking eyes. I've heard that the ghost ship is... You know what? I don't even want to talk to you. You're, you're the one fucking leading the ghost ship with them eyes, okay? Bro, she's, she's the goddamn captain to the ghost ship. I don't want to talk to her. Oh, friend! Bro, you called me a hoe. I don't want to talk to you. Yep, that's how it's done. Just tap on people to speak with them. So that's how you do it. Really? Okay. You say so. Well, ma ma make sure to... Oh, someone needs to be fired. Who needs to be fired? On the ghost ship? Who's getting fired, Canadians fan? You have to let me know, because I have no idea what we're talking about right now. Like, am I fired from being the edgy gamer because I haven't beaten this game yet? Is that what we're talking about? Because if that's what we're talking about, then I think that's totally fair. Because, I mean, how am I supposed to be the edgy gamer when I haven't beaten every single Zelda game in existence? I mean, that's that just feels wrong, you know? It feels like a sin. Like, this is... <laughs> Where are the Millers? Bro, I'll, you have to show me it later. You have to send it to me. My father was a shitty alcoholic. Well, mine showed up when I was 16. Mine said that I'm the biggest mistake of his life. Wait. The guy in the first pick looks familiar to me. Bruh. Okay. Okay. There we go. You know, I still can't really get over fighting with the stylus. Like, has anybody in chat, like, ever played this game, like, with the stylus and thought to yourself, this is such a weird way to fight? Like, I feel like tapping and sliding, you forgot now? Oh, okay. That's alright. It's okay to forget. Sometimes we forget so we can learn better things, alright? And watching my stream, we're here to learn together. Just like when we learned the word indefatigable. Which I can't remember what it means, but it, it's a good word to know. Just use it at your own, uh, you know, transgression. <laughs> yeah, make up its meaning as you go. How are you feeling today? Indefatigable. Okay. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Something to do with the weather, I'm sure. I fucking told someone... Yeah, exactly. I, I like how every human ever... Like, the fir the only thing they ever want to talk about is the damn weather. Like, people, we no one goes outside anymore. Stop talking about the weather. Hey, wait, wait! If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Don't forget that this cursed temple can suck the life out of you. I'm into it. I know we have to search for clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Hey, you know, uh, I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? <laughs> what? You're trying to put all the work on Link again? If you know it's dangerous, shouldn't you be helping too? Well, yeah, yeah, kid, the temple is a little dangerous, not a place for kids. If you go in, well, you might not make it very far. That's not exactly true. What? Grandpa! I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You are strong. Even if you follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. Link, can you beat Goku and get to that altar? <laughs> Fuck, can you get to the altar and then use the hourglass to beat Goku? It's just Goku's kryptonite, it's alright. Actually, Link teams up with Batman, and with enough time and planning, they beat Goku. <laughs> Edgy gamer, I've been listening to Three Days Grace for five hours straight. Well, at least you've been listening to good music for three hours straight. Oh my god, it's in 2D.
It's literally a JPEG! It's literally a 2D model in a 3D space. It's fucking weird. Now, Link, take the hourglass! Grab it! Grab it, you fool! Grab the JPEG! God, it's, it's literally... <laughs> I have a fucking- I am dizzy as shit now. God damn. You got the Phantom Hourglass. Okay, scene. I said five hours. Yeah, you listen to good music for five hours straight. Oops. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. I don't know if you've ever seen sand, but sand is usually somewhat of a gold color. It's a sandy gold color. You now hold the legendary Phantom Hourglass Link. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain the life from you. Woohoo! As long as we have this, we can search for clues for the spirit. Ahem! <clears throat> Damn, okay. However... Scuffed stream is scuffed. You are the only... You are only safe! As long as sand remains in the top of the phantom hourglass. When all the sand has drained to the bottom, your life too will be drained. It's an hourglass? Can't you just flip it over again? <laughs> no! Once the sand of ours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Oh, I get it. So we have to go to the go to outside the temple again. The sand inside the Phantom Hourglass is called the Sand of Hours. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire held some grains of it. It is said to be made of force gems of the Great Spirit, the Ocean King. It gives deep strength to whoever holds its power. From now on, you must defeat monsters and collect their sand. <laughs> so kind of weird, bro. Anakin will be mad, by the way. ZR is kind of killing me right now. For the more sand you place in the hourglass, the longer its power will last. The sea chart we found in this temple showed where to find this the captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits... Hmm. I bet there's another clue hidden somewhere in this temple. I just know it! I won't stop you, Link. Dive deeper into this mystery. But keep the phantom hourglass in hand. Remember how Astrid was saying that the sacred light was fading? We've got to hurry, Link! So how do you know so much, old man? Hmm... That long story is not yet ready to surface. But all will come in time. For now, you must find the ghost ship! That's right, a mountain of treasure awaits! Ready to leap into my pockets! Hop to it, Link! Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid! My man Lily Volan told me to explore this temple. What a bitch. Literally the God damn it. Yo, hello? Don't do that. Edgy best Dark Souls Edgy's best Dark Souls 2 character. I don't know if Chad Thundercock was my best Dark Souls 2 character. Probably on stream so far. Damn, that thing says 10 minutes. Link, look at the upper left corner of the top screen. This is how long the Phantom Hourglass will protect you from the curse. Ten minutes? Find the next clue to the ghost ship before the sand runs out, then escape. That's it. Without the sand, it will start to suck the life out of you. Remember to keep an eye out on the time you've got left. Why do I have a red fairy? Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's the red fairy from the... The dungeon. It's been a minute. This is the door of power. Use my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper in the temple. I like that I just punch the fucking door. Could you imagine punching a cement door and it just opens and you don't break every single finger on your hand? <laughs> like... Okay, this is looking a little... little on the bad side. What, what do we got? Bro? Hello? Hello? Two of them. Hey, listen! Hey, it's an enemy! You know what to do. Wait! Link! The evil that cursed this temple made these monsters. Phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable, and they strike very hard. Does that mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. Well, 
All you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. This is where the phantoms are. So we have to sneak around like thieves, eh? What if we're seen? If they see you, it's all over. My safe zone, do you mean those purple spaces? Thank you, tutorial. <laughs> That's right, the purple spaces. The temple's curse makes it, a, it makes it a dangerous place, but it's not all that bad. It's nice when you're vacationing. <laughs> but it's not a vacation, it's my honeymoon. You're right. Let's go, Link. All right, where are we going? You're absolutely right. No? Okay. Didn't think so. It looks like I'll use a bow for it. I'll get you! Eek, you've been spotted. Quick run to the safe zone. All right. Boom. Played. I just kind of felt like attacking them. I felt like pissing them off because I could. Lighting the torches should open the way. Lighting the torches? But how am I supposed to light two of them? With a boomerang? Because for whatever reason, this game allows you to use a boomerang to light itself on fire. To then light other things on fire. Bro, hey, yo. Damn. I'm not here. Okay, not gonna lie, I was waiting for my man to smack the... Oh, oh, oh. Damn, that reaction time? Apparently these fighting these enemies fucking fight quick. Yeah, the name Chad, Chad Thundercock is beautiful. Yeah, as far as I understand, Chat is the ones that came up with Chad Thundercock. Like I, I don't believe I was actually the one that came up with that, like, at all. I'm not trying to attack, I'm trying to find what I need. What's this do? Oh. I've got nine minutes. The timer's on. Played. They can't make their way to me. I'm on the run. I am the best thief you'd ever seen. I like how they immediately lose track of me. Like, I like how they're just here trying their best to find me and they're just fucking garbage. No. You can't hit me. I'm too fast. I am the embodiment of speed. I now possess the power of commands in Skyrim. And god damn, it feels good. Fuck. I hit the wrong button. Resume. You know, this game's pretty chill. I'm not gonna lie. This is a lot less intense than my normal gameplay. What's that? What's that do? Oh, that opens it up. Nice. Is it a timer? <laughs> Bro, that shit one shot me. God damn. Oh, it one shot me and it ate my time. I mean, that's fine. I don't think they realize how much I don't care. Dude, it's not going to take me 10 minutes to do this. I don't think you understand, game. This game's like, oh no, it's going to take you 10 minutes. No, the fuck it won't. Yes! I am the best thief you'd ever seen. Bruh! <laughs> this, is, this, is my, uh, this is my this is my speedrun strats. Only, only big brain gamers will understand. I did that so I can get back here faster. So I, what I lost in time, I gained in other time. I would know. I've played Ocarina time before. I know how time works. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. No. Fuck you. I like how he actually took a second. Like this man got a whole ass stabbed and did not care. What does that do? It's nice that it gives me a key, but... Damn, so you actually do have to piss him off and run away. I mean, that's fair. I do kind of like the random stealth game. I kind of feel like I'm playing... Like, it doesn't even feel like I'm playing Zelda. I literally feel like I'm playing a completely different game. Sorry, what the fuck? Hey, yo, what does that do? I was gonna say, watch me hit the wall. You know, chat? These are very simple puzzles. Like, I, I, I'm, I will say I'm a little thrown off because, like, since I've not played this game really, like, at all, I'm, a, I'm very focused on, like, trying to actually do the puzzles. So I'm, like, I'm a little, like, back and forth on talking and not talking. Oh, that's a, that's a old Zelda reference. I should have watched the paths of the phantoms w walk more carefully. They're patrolling the same areas again and again. 
Are they though? Like they might be, I don't know. Ooh. God damn. I can't already be tired. We can't have another 20 minute stream, all right? I mean, I'll probably only play this for an hour or so. Dude, I'm in so, so actually, I'll talk to Dylan about that after stream, but I actually found out why I got so mad the other day. Actually, no, I don't know if chat wants to know. Chat, are you, are, do you guys actually want to know why I was so curious? The Um, does anybody actually want to know why I was so livid the other day? I don't really feel like sharing too much, but I do know that played. Evaded? Evaded? It is a Harry Potter reference. No, it's a Lord of the Rings reference because of the cloak from Lord of the Rings. The cloak of hiding. The elvish cloak of getting good. Apparently, so this is a thing I really didn't, I didn't know about until like way in the future with Lord of the Rings is uh, the bread that Bilbo and Frodo eat. The reason they eat so little is apparently because it having just a little bit, the way it's designed is it fills the nutrients for like the entire day. So all you need to do is bite like a little bit and then you have like a full meal basically of nutrients, which is very interesting to say the least. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. It's a little all over the place. The lore of Lord of the Rings is rather deep and expansive, and I tend to not know everything off the top of my head. The lore of the rings. The clue to the ghost ship rests on this floor, just a little further. Damn, I actually only took up five minutes, and I had ten minutes. Your boy is born for efficiency. What was that? You found a force gem. Take it away quietly. You got a triangle? I wonder what you're supposed to do with that. That's a force gem stolen from the Ocean King by the hands of evil. Evil! You'll need the power. You'll need the power of force gems to open the door and delve deeper. So what are you supposed to do with the force gems? You can see it over there. That looks really fucking weird. Place all force gems on the door and the door will open. So you have to do it. Take the force gems there. Be careful. You move a lot slower when you're carrying a big force gem. And if a phantom sees you, you don't don't think you can get away. Don't be a hero. Drop the force gem and run to a safe zone. <gasps> Simple, right, Link? Look out for the phantoms and combat the evil. Link is definitely a little bit of a bitch in this game. He is trying his best. No, 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 no. I will be a hero. I will not drop it. I will make it. God damn, this man's arms. He fucking holding something as big as him and throws that shit. That's impressive. Oh, hello. Hey, yo. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> hey yo! Hey yo! Come on now. Oh damn! I know what I need to do. It yeah, it just stays there. <laughs> I fucking love it, bro. It's 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 my markings. It's my notes. Exter. Oh well, welcome in, Exter. Welcome in. Are you a big fan of this game? I will say I've basically, ne I've played, I think two dungeons of this game, but it's been genuinely years since I've played, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm taking notes. Taking notes. <laughs> Bro, how's that gone on fire? That goes on fire when I get spotted? That's not, that's not very cool. That's not very cash money of the game. Are you a big Zelda fan, Exter? And if so, what are your thoughts on this Zelda game? I actually got to say, I, uh, I've only played like, you know, I've played a little bit of this one and I played like a decent amount. I, I actually beat Spirit Tracks. You beat it ages ago, like a few years after release. God damn, that was fucking ages ago then. 
Yeah, like me personally, the I've only the only handheld Zelda I've ever actually like beaten um was The Legend of Zelda um Spirit Tracks. And technically you could consider my time beating Majora's Mask and Ocarina Time being a handheld because they were both the 3D games. So technically they were a handheld experience. So like, you know, me personally beat it as a handheld even if the game itself was, you know, a port, not technically a handheld. That's not good. Because he dropped a key! I need the key. You know, at least he didn't spin 30 times to pick it up this time. I mean, I, I, literally when he spun earlier, I felt like I was going to throw up for him. He just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Did you ever beat Spirit Tracks? Spirit Tracks, I remember being really, really good. Like, Spirit Tracks, for whatever reason, was such a good Zelda game. Like, and I honestly feel like the handheld kind of style of playing a Zelda game, I feel like it's really... Nope. Well, I will say, if you enjoy this game, Spirit Tracks would probably be a really good time. So far, from what I've seen of this game, it's kind of hard to gauge. It's kind of, so, it's kind of some really weird pacing. Didn't even touch Spirit Tracks. Didn't really, did it not interest you at all, or, uh... Which, you know what, I will say, if the handheld Zelda games didn't interest you at all, I think that's pretty fair. Because, like, I feel like the control scheme of these games are very difficult to deal with. Like, especially fucking Spirit Tracks when you're playing the Pan Flute and you're, like, fucking blowing at your goddamn 3DS or whatever. And then, you know, dragging it across the screen, hoping you're playing it properly. Like, there's, there's some parts where it's like, okay, no. Oh, wait, there's no fog in this room. Look! The hourglass has stopped! Your life isn't getting the big zuck! Man, that's what I came here for, was the big <laughs> zuck of my life. Oh, well. I wonder how actually deep this dungeon goes. The Northwestern Sea Chart. Ooh. I feel like this game's probably not that big, though. I remember Spirit Tracks being pretty expansive, but I feel like this one's probably a lot shorter. Especially because it, be it being the first one, it came before Spirit Tracks. So this one probably has a lot less going on. We got another sea chart, but it looks different from the last one. Maybe now we can explore new areas of the sea. Let's go show S Linebeck. Well, I will say this. What is your preferred Zelda game? Like, what Zelda game really... Like, you know... <laughs> Damn it. My roommate just said Smash Bros. Smash Bros is his favorite Zelda game. You know what? That's pretty fair, because Smash Bros is my favorite Mega Man game. And my favorite Banjo-Kazooie game. Banjo, yeah, Banjo-Kazooie. Because I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. So, you know, that's my favorite That's my favorite Banjo game. <laughs> so, okay, he also said my favorite Star Fox game. I actually have played Star Fox before. You're going to be really mad, though. Everyone in chat, get prepared. You're going to be tilted. The only Star Fox game I've ever played was, and still is, Star Fox Adventures. The one where, you know, you go, when you're on, like, the dinosaur planet or whatever. You know, the Kronoa Spirits. And, you know, all that. You know, you don't have enough scarabs. You know, that, uh, that, that wonderful time, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. I, I assure you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is probably one of the weirdest fucking statements you'd ever heard. Like, you're like, Scarabs, Cronoa Spirits? What is my man on about? Is he okay? Hey, you! Hey, you! What's up? Does that ship of of yours have a cannon? No. They make they make, a, make sea life easier. Or at least louder. Hmm. That's about all I know. Heard you can get them from a guy named Edo on an isle to the south. Then we shall go there. Hey, you actually made it back. Find the sea chart? Linebeck, you're lucky to have us around doing all the hard work. Yes, we found the new C chart. Hey, let me see that. It's a chart we need to, to sail into the sea that's up north. We still don't know the location of the ghost ship. Well, blow, well, blow me down to the ground. The chart's so dusty, I can't read it. Make yourself useful and clean it up, will you? Sorry, chat. I got them smoker lungs, apparently. I couldn't I couldn't blow it all away in one breath. Achoo! Hey, look! I mean, I knew it all along. I knew it was hidden there. I've always had a sixth sense for such things. We aren't falling for it, Linebeck. You don't even... You didn't even know that was there. 
Don't pretend to know what I don't know anyway. Anyway, I bet a spirit's right there. Oh. Well, thank you, Exeter, for the follow, my man. Thank you. Thank you. You got nostalgia glasses on when it comes to the old school Link's Awakening, so I'll go with that. Yeah. Old school Link's Awakening was pretty fucking fun. That was... I, I played that game. I didn't beat it. I did not beat it, but it was really good. The main Zelda games that I played when I was uh, younger, which, of course, since I'm only 22, a lot of, uh, a lot of like, the games that I played when I was younger, like, most people would have played, you know, maybe not at the same time. I played Wind Waker, um, was my first ever video game, and I played that a lot when I was younger. I played Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask, and mostly Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is the one I played the most. Wind Waker is the second most. And then I played Ocarina of Time and then Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask I couldn't quite grasp because it had a lot of, like, complex themes going on. And I was rather young to be playing Majora's Mask. So, like, I was getting really confused. But that was also, like, I was used to playing stuff that wasn't for the time limit or anything like that. So it really confused me. Okay, then once we set sell, I'll explain how we can go to the Northwestern Sea. Let's be off. Climb aboard. So I, I will say the game I probably have the most nostalgia for. Ooh, and I played Skyward Sword, but I didn't really play that one when I was younger, per se, but I did play it a lot. We have a new chart. I'll tell you what I know about how to navigate the way up there. Sea chart of the Northwestern covers a whole area of, up there. So draw a course to the top of our chart until you see the Northwestern Sea. After we reach it, you must draw our next leg to the Northwestern Sea chart. We're going to go to the Cannon Island. So is Cannon Island canon? I need to know. All right, so Antoni Kawa, the husband and the wife. Uh, yeah. Hold up, this game's so fucking loud. Like, it's kind of vibing with how fucking, you know, cool the music is. But, like, this shit's fucking loud. I turned down just a little bit. I turned it back up, Lameo. All right. All right, I turned it louder. All right. Well, see, that's, like, way too quiet, though. It's only loud when we go out on the fucking ocean. If we're not in the on the ocean, it's super goddamn quiet. Do an Italian smoker with shitty lungs impression? I, I don't. I can't. Think you're going to sleep? No problem, Canadians fan. You have a lovely evening. It's actually Fanfic Island. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think we should go here. I don't think that's safe for stream. <laughs> if it's fucking Fanfic Island. I think I might get banned if we read anything here. Bomb garden. See, now that sounds dangerous. That sounds like the most dangerous thing I've heard all day. Hey, nice to meet you. And not like I don't want to greet you, but I'm here to deliver your mail. Not talk your ear off. Yep, the postman lives for special delivery. And your name is? Got it right here. Uh, isn't it Link? I'm sure I'll be carrying special deliveries for you at some point. So... I'd appreciate it if you didn't, you know, shoot me with a slingshot. Thanks for understanding. I may also need you to sign for deliveries. Thanks. On that note, see you around the sea, sir. This man literally is... And he's off. Alright. Good day to you. What, what do you have for delivery? I don't have anything for delivery. Okay. Oh well. My man's a unit. God damn. This man's like eight feet tall. Or Link is like two feet tall. One of the two. Hello there, you've come to Edo's Garage. That is Master Edo's Garage shop. I'm Fuzo, his apprentice. And you, oh nice to meet you, Link. What? You want a cannon? Sorry, little guy, but we don't have any ready to sell. Not yet. Master's working on one, though, so he's withdrawn to his workroom. Yep, he's gone and locked himself in there until he's done concentrating. If you really, really, really want a cannon, then go speak with the master. You can go around the island to reach the back door. Dangerous, though. The back door is never locked. That's your ticket to meet the master. I'll be happy to open the gate that leads to the rest of the island. Follow me! Oh. Alright. We're about... Toon Link is tiny. Toon Link is freaking microscopic. I really like Toon Link, but my man's is not... Not a unit. He is... He's adorable. He may be that guy, but he is not a unit. Where, 
Where be a fortune amid the beehives? What? <laughs> you can't read it from here. Fair. Fair. How'd he know? How'd he know? You know, I'm waiting for me to... I don't know why, but this game really lets you beat the beehives. Well, if I remember correctly, uh, um, what is it? When I played Zelda Spirit Tracks, there were actually, like, rare drops you get from the enemies or whatever. So you kind of had, like, incentive to, like, fight enemies. Or I might be getting that mixed up with, uh, Scoured Sword. Like, I, knew, I know Scoured Sword had, like, rare drops for enemies, and you could use them to do, like, RPG kind of stuff. But I feel like Spirit Tracks did something similar. I just don't remember. The Bomb Garden. Okay. Is it, um, Link literally a child? Oh yeah, he's literally a child, like. Like, as far as I understand, the Toon Link is like 12 or something like that. Like, he is literally a child. I'm older. I want to call the newest Smash game Super Smash each other in the ass, bros. Um... But yeah, like, as far as I understand, the, um, oops. As far as I understand, the, um, bro, how, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, I throw this over that. I can. Nice. Yeah, like, I know that, uh, Link in most of the Zelda games is, like, rather young, as far as I understand. The only, like, Zelda game where I think he's, like, technically older would be, like, maybe Twilight Princess, and technically, like, through technicality. God damn it, I keep hitting that button on accident. Um, through technicality, uh, Scoured Sword. Scoured Sword, he's technically, like, a hundred and something. And then in Twilight Princess, I believe he's, like, a teenager. I don't know, really, it, it definitely varies game to game. I can't remember how old Link is inside of, like, uh in um, Ocarina of Time. He's, he's like, I think he's like teenager age, but I can't remember. I don't know, it's always a hard call. Especially with these games, they never give like a definitive answer, I don't really think. They just kind of say like, oh, yep, he has an age, and you just kind of have to do your best guesswork. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Actually, I stand corrected. That shit was easy. Yeah, I believe, like, oh, um, damn, Izzy played the fin scream and it didn't work. I kind of want to cry. I kind of feel bad. My man has been cheated. Dare I say bamboozled. That's fine. I'm going to play it for him. He deserves to be heard. Ah! Edgy bitch ass. Absolutely edgy bitch ass. Breath of the Wild, he's over 100. <laughs> Yes, um, for, like, the actual, like, Ocarina of Time, I do believe he's really just, like, late teens. But I will say, like, the actual canon age is always, like, a toss-up for me. Because since I've been exposed to a lot of media that had Ze uh, Link in it at, like, different ages, I can never, like, remember exactly what he is. Because, like, you know, not only have I played a lot of the games, well, like, played a lot of the games and they all have different ages and everything, but I've also had, like, the, uh, I've also read the Zelda manga. And, um, and it's not official manga, by the way. As far as I understand, it's not even remotely official. But, uh, it is really good nonetheless. Even without it being official, I will say it's fantastic. Like, uh, I think the Majora's Mask one was, like, really fucking good. I knew the Ocarina of Time one and the, uh, Four Swords manga were really, really good especially. Those were, like, the two that stuck out to me the most was Ocarina of Time. And, um... Ocarina of Time and Four Swords. There we go. And I feel like the real reason they like they were really good for writing those is because they had a lot to work with. Work with. Though for Ocarina of Time, there was like already quite a bit of story in the game, so they really didn't have to like go looking for story or like character traits or anything like that. All they had to really do was just go in and go off of what was already there and then make it better. 
or well, sorry, just add more character development to it and everything. They had a lot of things they could have done. But then for like Four Swords, it was like the same thing. Like they could do a lot because Four Swords, you know, all they had to do is just go off of the main like five characters. They just had to go off of, uh, you know, um, they had to go off of like the green link, the red link, the purple link, and the blue link. And then just kind of make their own characters and just go off of that. And I feel like they did a really, really good job with that. Like, if you guys ever get the chance to just read those manga, I definitely recommend it. Because it is really, really good. I would definitely suggest it to, to uh, some of you guys. Especially the Four Swords one. That one, by far, like, just sits in my memory to this day. Because it's so fucking good. Um, you stopped a Daedric God from invading Tamriel. I'm pretty sure the oldest Link he ever was was 17. Yeah, as far as, like, you know, normal age, not, uh, Breath of the Wild age, I do believe so. <clears throat> God, now that I'm talking about the Zelda manga, it's got me thinking. I remember I did, so I've never beaten this game, but I did read the entirety of the Zelda manga about this game. And I'll say this. It was definitely written in, like, a certain way. Like, it was definitely a lot more childish than the other manga, which I think fit it really, really well because of it being a tune, like, a Toon Link game. And, um, it just, it just works, you know? Like, I don't know why, but it just kind of worked for the, uh, whole aesthetic and everything. And I feel like that's, like, when me playing this game. Yeah, Breath of the Wild Link was 117. Man was fucking ancient! What's up, old man? Yes, yes, I'm the owner of this shop, Edo. What do you want? What? You demand a cannon? <laughs> you impress me. You'd brave this dangerous isle for one of my cannons? For a sea shrimp, you've got a good eye. Then know that my cannons... Huh, what? Then know that my cannons are works of explosive art, crafted from choice parts. Don't ask me why, but reading is sometimes really difficult. <laughs> I never I never read when I got called on in class. I told them to go to the next person. It was too stressful. So you'd better believe that you're going to cough up big rupees for one. Have the guts to hear how much? Yes. <laughs> Don't blame me if you drop a load of rupees in my shop. Ready? I'll say it! Get ready, guy! I'm serious! I'm gonna say it! It's going for the steep price of 50 rupees. You big enough to pony up 50 whole rupees? Stunned? Yeah, did you think you were dealing with a small potatoes here? Ha! I mean, 50 rupees would buy you a whole lot of good life on this aisle. No one could blame you if you can't pay. Buy it. Yeah. What? Where'd you get 50 rupees? Doesn't matter. I guess just as long as you cough up the cash, okay? Take it! My man literally said 50 rupees, and that's like his whole life savings. You got the cannon! This part from Ito fits on the deck of your ship. Next, I'm gonna devise a salvage arm that can pull treasure from the sea floor. See you later, shrimp. Just use that door there to get back to the dock. Damn. My man really just said 50 rupees and gave me a whole ass ship part. You have to cut me off, make me out like never happened, and then oh, somebody I used to know. Yeah, that's I know that song. That's how they. So you were talking about listening to Three Days Grace earlier. I do believe Three Days Grace did a uh, a cover of somebody who I used to know, which if I remember correctly, it was a really, really decent, decently good cover. Um, I will say my favorite cover I've ever heard by Three Days Grace though is Seven Nation Army, but it's they never did an official cover. They only did it at a concert that I went to. It was a Five Finger Death Punch concert, and they covered um, Seven Nation Army, and it was fucking godly. When I say that Seven Nation Army was literally, like, I don't know why, but when Three Days Grace sang Seven Nation Army at that concert, it, it was better than, like, the normal song had ever been to me. Maybe it's because it was the first concert I ever went to. Maybe it's because I liked Three Days Grace a fuckload. Maybe... It's because it was that good. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I will say this. When I went to go see it live and that new singer, like, really sang his heart out on stage, 
and the uh, drummer went absolutely nuts, and the rest of the band obviously just kept the whole song going. It's just everything they did live was unbelievable. Three Days Grace is just as good live as they are on the records, and I think that's always awesome. Always awesome to see. Special delivery. Watch out, incoming. <laughs> Bro, he sumo wad me. This is a letter from the postmaster to you, Link. Ahem. Here's what it says. To Link. If you're getting this, I guess that my new postman is working out so far. So I'd like to make an unusual request. Here's as good as the new... He's as good as the new hire gets. He's as diligent and efficient as they come. I've got no complaints. I want to keep it that way. So be nice to the postman. And also stop hitting the ZR button. He really is a good kid. From the postmaster. And that's it. Wow, kind of embarrassing. Not like I wrote it, but... It was odd to read out loud. <laughs> anyway, sign here, will you? Oh, I get to sign? Oh, God. Uh, well, obviously I'm not doing my actual signature. That'd be fucking stupid as shit. I thought about it, and I was like, no, I shouldn't do that. Um, hmm. If the teacher asked me to read, I just ate the book. That's impressive. You're just somebody I used to know. You didn't have to cut me out. Three Days Grace with their old uh, with their old singer was the shit, but the new singer is meh. I'm telling you, awesome bro. You've not heard him live. That new singer, you gotta give him a you gotta give him a chance. He's so good. I love the new singer of Three Days Grace. My man kills it, fucking kills it. And his growl vocals, <gasps> godly, fucking godly. Loved it. Um, God, what the fuck is Linebeck doing? I'm gonna draw Linebeck's face. We're gonna. I am Ferdinand oh, von. Bruh. You know what? Here, here. Rewrite. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw Linebeck's face. We're gonna do. Oh, it only lets me draw here. That's lame. Hold up, chat. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Everyone's telling me to draw. No, I don't want to draw a dick. I'm sorry. I'm drawing Linebeck's face, goddammit. Okay. What? Tell me to draw something that is not a sexual part of the body, and I absolutely will. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I, I think I should, but I'm not going to. Loser? I mean, that's fine. You guys can call me a loser. Bullying doesn't work on me. I, I find that shit invigorating, alright? You call me a loser, I'm like, god damn. Okay. Mm, what else should I draw? I kind of want to draw... Here, I'm just gonna doodle. I'm just gonna doodle. Why not? You guys can see how unsteady my hand is. There's my really shitty Triforce. <laughs> CS69. You got CS69. There we go. Draw a censored dick. Oh, okay, okay. See, if I do that, then it still looks like it's there. Mmm, draw Dylan. <laughs> um, hold up, I'll draw Dylan. We'll do, we got his face right here. He's got his glasses. I don't have enough space. We're gonna draw Dylan, hold up. Got Dylan, All right? He's got a little bit of a nose. He's kind of normal faced. Got his glasses. There we go. And he's got his hair. But his hair's got like a little bit of a poof to it, you know? So like it's not like it's not God, he looks <laughs> that looks fucking awful. <laughs> there's there's there well there's uh there's Dylan. Okay. Hold up, we're gonna Dylan's got a little bit of like, 
little bit of this going on. Just draw the meaning of life. I'm drawing Devin. Okay, hold up. Devin. Honestly, just looks like a default character. So, you know. Actually, Devin does not quite look like that. Devin looks a little different. Devin! My man's got a really big forehead. So we're just gonna, like... We're gonna put his eyebrows right here. His eyes right here. And then his hair right there. There we go. Draw, draw myself? Oh, God. Um... Well, hold up. How do I... I have to, I'm going to have to mark through one of these people. Um... So... This is not going to look very good. I can let you know this right now. My self-portrait is going to look awful. Okay, so if I'm... Facing... Well, here, let's just do this. I've got, like, my hair... You know, my hair usually kind of... Hangs a little off myself, but doesn't hang off too much. Hold up. Drawing skills activated. They're terrible. They're awful. I hope we're all prepared to see how bad I am at drawing. This is going to look just dreadful. Well, the problem is, is I cover up most of my face with my hair. So, like, you know, I've got really thin eyes. I've got a really big nose. Parting my hair. There you go. That's, that's me. I hope, yep. Yes. Yes! Good, that wraps it up. See you later! Meaning of life is rule 34 Sonic? Bro, what? Hey, yo? Hey, yo? Hey, what? Um, draw a leaking Cyclops that has two nodes on one end. It's a long neck. Bruh, okay. I like the effort, Edgeblade. That's some good effort. I, I didn't understand what you were talking about for a second. Pretty clever. Dang it, the yes, yes, yes didn't work. Microwave lasagna, because I don't know how to cook. Yes. I mean, I don't see any issue with microwave lasagna. That sounds like... I mean, I, I also don't really like lasagna, so I don't really see it as messing it up. I just don't really like cheese. Like, I'll be honest with you, chat. I'm just not a big cheese person. Cheese is just kind of, like, iffy to me, you know? Like, it's not that... It's not like, you know, you're wrong for eating cheese. It's just I definitely won't fucking eat it, that's for sure. I got a treasure map! <gasps> Right over there. Right down the street. Bro, these bees are on my ass. Hey, hello? Stop. Stop! Yeah, do you want to set sail? Absolutely! Then get on board! A full steam ahead! The meaning of... Um, Edgy Gamer doesn't like cheese despite constantly being cheesy. Damn. Sometimes reality is rather disappointing. I wonder, can I go to Melita Island? Can we go to Melita Island? I want to go over there. What are they hiding? Now that we have a big cannon, I'd better show you how to handle that thing. Cap just tap anything you see and the cannon fires at it. Have a blast with it, kid! Boy, here, is it too loud? Uh, I guess you guys can kind of hear me now. It's just still a little loud, but that's alright. Wait, hold up. I saw someone jump. I saw someone jump! Oh, you can shoot the birds! I'm so sorry! Hold up, played. Destroyed? Wahoo! Apparently we're Mario now. Damn, are we really just... What the fuck? What is this? 
What is this supposed to be? At least it's a lot more interactive now. Am I supposed to like be able to break through these? So god damn it. I can't multitask like this. Wait, is this just like a really efficient way of getting money? Just shooting these little things? Enemy sighted! Hang on a moment, Link, look! Could, 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 could that be? The ghost ship! The ghost ship! <laughs> this surfaced at last. The ghost ship! I can't believe that we're laying eyes on it! Let's follow it. Let's go get our treasure! Full steam ahead! Chase after him! What? Bro, hello? Watch it? Damn, that motherfucker took so many shots. Don't let him leave! After him, Linebeck! Go! They took Tetra from us! Now we have a big cannon. Let me show you how to use that thing. That sounds kind of... That sounds kind of kinky. Doesn't it, though? Oh, this looks terrible. Oh... Huh? The fog is thickening! Be careful now, Link! I can't see! Hard turn, starboard! This fog is maddening, I can't even see my hands! What is one man supposed to do? Northwestern Sea. So why am I following this guy? How am I supposed to know where to go? It's all just fog. Don't let it escape, Link. I'm pretty sure it's escaped me already. Where exactly is it going? Like, I'm literally on its tail. Go scuttle that blasted thing! I mean, uh, no! Oh. oh! Can I, can I hit it? Keep on course! I'm trying to keep on course. I can't just read his mind. Hurry, Link, I can't go any faster! I'm trying to, but it's not working. Enemy sighted? I mean, yeah, I'm sighting the enemy, but it doesn't mean I'm actually catching up to him. So I feel like you're not supposed to follow the ghost ship, but... Oh, there we go. Hard turn to port? So, random trivia for anyone in chat. What the fuck is port, and what the fuck is starboard? Starboard. Like, what... I know they're, like, opposite sides. I think it's, like... So starboard's like the right, and the port's like the left? Or is it like relative to like what... What exactly is it relating to? Remember that Tetra Force theory? I do not remember the Tetra Force theory. You have to, you have to let me know about the theory. I, I've never heard of it. Where are you when I need you, wind? Well, what the fog? This is ridiculous! What? What happened? We were chugging along, making headway there. Ah, oh, you think maybe. Could it be the influence of the ghost ship? Now, what did I hear about that? Oh yeah, it's always surrounded by infernal fog. And that fog leads ships horribly astray. I think it's best we beat a hasty retreat, Link. Maybe someone on one of the nearby isles knows the way through this fog. Okay. Um... Past the fjords and the ice cold currents, right and left side of the ship. Okay, so that's all it is. Nothing, nothing fancy. Okay, I I, I wanted to know in case, cause like you never know. I feel like some like I don't really know anything about pirates, like at all. The only thing I know about pirates is that they were in the Caribbean. Lameo, I know. Like I mean they were, but like it's not quite. It wasn't quite Pirates of the Caribbean. 
I'll probably stream this tonight for about a good hour and a half or so. I don't want to stream too terribly late. I want to make sure I have plenty of time to lay down. I've been trying to make sure I don't over overwork myself recently. Because the last thing I... Gold Frog! Bro, hey, yo. How the fuck am I supposed to hit you? I'm tilted, chat. Damn, there's some hella barrels out here. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Whom the fuck? Our turn to port. All right. Um, the Tetra Force theory is that there is a fourth piece of the Triforce called the Tetra Force, like the upside down triangle in, tri in the Triforce. They were everywhere. The theory was debunked though. Had Japanese with mom on Tuesday. Had enough leftovers for two extra meals. Dude, okay, like some places, you really do just get some extra food. Like when I go to the hibachi grill, they've got so much food, you could get like two more days worth of food if you don't eat like, if you eat like a normal amount. We can't get to the crest location on the chart unless we pass through the fog. What do we do? Do you want to do you want to ship out? No. We go take care of things and let's ship out soon. I want to go talk to the villagers. Hello. Hey, a new face. Welcome to Melita Island. Lots of island guys are off fishing, but you'll still find many of us hard at work around here. Have you seen the northern sea lately? That awful fog and that ghost ship. Scary. It's better not to think of the Northwestern Sea, or you'll get the shivers. I'm feeling the shivers right now, chat. Wayfarer's words, number one. I tried sailing through the foggy passage to the North Sea. Tried and failed. I found myself sailing back to the same point, so I abandoned my voyage. Real? Maybe someone around here knows. Ooh. Hello? Special delivery! Watch out incoming! My man is just harassing me at this point. This is a letter from Astrid! Ahem! Ooh, I can't wait! Good tidings to you, Link! Thank you for your recent help! Try as might to express my gratitude in words, I cannot do it justice. Is there any... If there is anything that I can do in return, please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that someone of my modest means might have little to offer. But I believe that I can at least show you the way, should you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I... Be out of here. Um... Did you know the creator of Pepe made lore for him? No. No, I didn't. I didn't realize that Pepe had lore. You guys might have to tell me the lore of Pepe, because, uh... I feel like I'm a little behind in the memes. Being unaware of the lore of Pepe. Yay, now now Plon Brett. What? Oh. Definitely mom and I both got the steak, shrimp, and chicken plate. So I like to get steak and uh steak and chicken and fried rice. I just like to eat a ton of that personally. Welcome to the island. What is this? Five hundred rupees. Oh heck no. Yeah, you don't have anything I can either afford or actually use, so we're gonna we're gonna leave. <laughs> we're gonna leave nothing in here all that useful. Um what do you got, lady? What? You want to sail to the island up in the northwestern sea? My husband called that place the Isle of Gust. He used to talk about how he had visited that island. My husband once co was once content to be a fisherman until he left this place. He sought uncharted lands, at least that's what he said when he finally left. He refused to work instead of running his, ruining his boat. The last time we saw him was over a year ago. My son Romanos, who's at home right now, might know a little more. But that boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved at his dad, I think. He might get upset if you mention the Isle of Gust. My man is absolutely peeved! Young man, you mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters have been in there lately. 
I'll be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Ma'am, I have a sword. I am a grown 13-year-old, okay? I know what's good for me. You know what? Fuck your pot. Um, I don't like the postman. I hope the ghost ship kills him. I know the official uh, Pepe comic Lily killed the character and attempt to kill the meme along with it. God damn. Fucking harsh. Pepe was supposed to give positive vibes, but that's not what people were using him for. So the creator made Pepe lore videos. Tonight's episode was really wholesome. It isn't really pervy. I enjoyed it. Need something, kid? What? You want to travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going you're going your own way, too. Own way? Ah, if you don't know, forget I asked. You're better off staying put and forgetting about that Isle of Gust. Uh, yes. Oh, really? Do it your way? Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage. All this endless babbling about living with a lust for adventure. Can't... Can that put food on the table? Can that make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way is a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese. That's the life. Yeah, Isle of Gus, don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. So. Yeah. Th okay. Wait, kid, come back! I'm coming back! I'm sorry! Sorry to unload all, unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots about going on his own way to explore. I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gust. He said something about a special route for getting through the foggy passage, but only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape, escape all the time. He called it his hideaway. You might find more details in there. But it's dangerous in there. So take care of yourself, kid. It's so wholesome. <laughs> yeah, you guys keep telling me to watch ghost stories. Um, as far as I understand, the ghost stories uh, dub is genuinely hilarious. From what I've been told, like, it is an absolute mess. And it was, like, dubbed officially by, like, a bunch of people that didn't give a shit, so they just said whatever the fuck they wanted to. Do 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 do! A Helmarok plume! Alright. It's weird. With the way they design this game, some things are JPEGs and other things are 3D modeled. So I never really know how to feel about it. I feel like super confused all the time. Okay, go ahead and do that. That. And then read up a chat. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, so from what I understand for like ghost stories, right? I actually don't know what the normal anime is about. All I know is that the uh, the actual dub for the anime was like such a mess and they didn't care. So the voice actors literally said whatever they felt like. And they just went along with it. Like that's all they ended up saying. Oh wait, well if my son said, son said it was alright, then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? But please don't go do anything too dangerous. Yes, ma'am! I will dive headfirst into danger. This water looks kind of whack, I'll be honest with you. It looks like a weird gr moving gradient background. I don't know how to feel about it. You know, I remember someone telling me like, uh, you know what's a really still like to this day, a very interesting take on Zelda. I feel like uh, if anyone's never like never seen it, if you've never seen the sequel itis for uh Damn. Played outsmarted. Uh but yeah, I feel like if you've never actually seen it, the uh um The video that uh, Ego Raptor did, the guy from Game, Rump, Game Grumps, did about uh, Ocarina of Time and um, Link to the Past. 
is a very interesting uh, video. And I and I really uh, when I play Zelda, and they talk about and I like th like think about like some of his uh, takes on it, I feel like a lot of his opinions about it were just really interesting, you know? Because they were like some of them I'd already thought about myself, but then other ones were like seen from a different angle, and really gave a lot of like uh, you know, made me think a lot more about what I was like actually playing and what was going on. You know, because I feel like it's okay to be critical about video games every now and then. Like, it's good just to play a video game, and if it's fun, it's fun. Like, that's totally fair. Like, 99.9% .9 of the time. But I also think there's the rare occasion where it's like, uh, it's totally okay to, like, be super critical and, like, think about it. But there's, I feel like there shouldn't be anything wrong with being critical about your video games. If you want to. They all have their times and places. This must be the place that Romano's dad called his hideaway. But I haven't seen any clues about how to get through the foggy passage. There's a book on the desk, Link. Go and tap the book to read it. My journal. I'm writing this while in a private space I call my hideaway. Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. Ugh, fucking yawning. We'll probably figure out this island and then I'll probably get off for the night. I don't want to do these uh, late night streams too terribly long. Especially um, on nights when I'm more tired like this one. And it will stay that way only as long as I know that no one will interrupt me. Now I do have one more hideaway, and no one will ever find the entrance. It's under the- Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ! God damn it, no one knows what just happened. I leaned forward, or I, like, I, I propped my foot up, and I accidentally hit the uh, eject button on my 360, and it opened up. And it scared the fuck out of me. Because I just felt something hit my foot, and I was like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the wolf link from Twilight Princess ever chased his own tail? Well, that really depends on if he actually had full consciousness or not. Consciousness or not. As far as I understand, he had full consciousness when he was in wolf form, so I don't see why he would do that. Um, it's under the spot where the lines drawn between my stone tablets intersect. It's brilliant if I do say so myself. Okay, say that it's under the spot where the lines drawn between my stone tablets intersect. Uh, two tablets intersect. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like if he didn't have, like, full consciousness, then maybe, like, it'd probably be up for debate. But from what I understand, you know, I, I he did have, like, full consciousness, so I don't see why he would do that. But, I don't know. I, I didn't read the manga about it, so I never really thought too deep into it. I'm more or less just, um, the only, like, Zelda games, like, I played a lot of Twilight Princess, but it's been so long that I really can't give you much of, like, a take about the game because of it being so long since I played. All I know is the game was really good. Wayfair, Wayfair's words, number three. But the Isle of Gust was only one of the many islands beyond that foggy passage. I will see them all. It's my life's dream. It's the only way to live. All right. If you say so. Is it truly the only way to live, though? It seems like it made your son really upset. That's all I know. You can't read it from this side. Of course not. Wayfair, Wayfair's words, number four. What a discovery on the Isle of Gust, a temple reached into the sky itself! But a temple to what? For whom? My curiosity must be satiated. Alright, his stone tablets, huh? Where exactly are his stone tablets? His two stone tablets. He's got this one here. But where's his other one? Like, he's got the one here... Hello? Hello! Be -oing -oing -oing. Want some valuable information? Yes! There's a tiny isle in the middle of the three boulders south of this isle. Really? It said there's a beautiful spring there. This is one of the several isles that are not charted on any map. Keep a vigilant eye out while sailing. You never know what you'll find. Now make a note of what I just said. Um... There we go. I'm sure everyone likes my notes. I'm sure my notes make no fucking sense. 
I made my way through the... F so I'll be honest with you, chat. I have no idea exactly how to do this puzzle. So we're about to start getting really interesting. I'll find it eventually, don't worry. If we keep digging around, we're bound to find the, uh, the dungeon at some point. Like, there's only so many spaces on this island, really. Especially between the two different, uh, things. Like, the dungeon has to be somewhere around here. Where the two lines intersect. My only question is, what fucking lines is he talking about? He said where the two tablets intersect. What the fuck about the two tablets intersects? I don't understand. Like, where would they intersect at? Is that not good? Are these not good spots, game? Um, well, maybe the wolf instincts took over. So he wrote his journal on a bunch of stones? Yeah, right? Like, I don't know what to... So, like, let me actually think about this, right? Let me put that away. So, where the two, two things intersect. So there's one here, there's one like here, there's one here, and there's one here. So, I don't particularly know what I'm supposed to get out of this, but I will say... I don't understand where they're supposed to intersect. Unless he means, like... This? Like, is that what he means? But that means it would have to be right here. But as we can tell, it's not here. But then if they intersect... Like, they, if I didn't do it that way, it'd be parallel lines, not intersecting. So that means it has to be up here. But it's obviously not here because there's a little bit of a problem. This is... It's sometimes when you get puzzles like these that really make you ask the question, like, where, what the fuck do you want from me, game? And then that's how we get into moments like this where you're literally digging the entire fucking, uh, you know, beach of this random island. Do you think this counts as vandalism? I want to say something, but I won't. You know what I hate? I hate superheroes that are pacifists. It's like Peacemaker s said, I'm the show. Batman is a candy ass. <laughs> Batman is a candy ass who can't smoke fools. He knows it should be smoked. I mean, honestly, yeah, that is quite the, uh, like, that was quite the clip. I fucking love that clip. <gasps> I found it. I knew it. The treasure map. Sorry, I just feel in the mood to shit talk Batman today. No, you feel free to shit talk whoever, like whatever uh, superhero you want, my man. I think that's pretty fair. Shit talking Batman is just the way that people should talk about Batman, you know? He, you can't help it. Like, you think Batman, you're like, God, why is he so fucking bad? To my son, here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. The sea chart. So I need to go up. I need to turn around. Go this way. This way. This way. Whoop. There we go. I'm pretty sure everyone's very proud of my arrow drawing skills. My arrow drawing skills are magnificent. To my son, Romanos. If you're reading these words, you have found my true hideaway, which means you also have developed a desire to find your own way in life. Know that I'm truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father. Leaving. Look, like I said, this is the last island we're doing. I'm yawning. Goddamn. Leave you both behind. There's so much about the ways of the world I don't understand. Such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where do its victims go? I've decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother. And please, 
Forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. All right. Hold up. Hold up. I'm not ready. Got him. Got him. What the fuck? There's a strange sun emblem on that door, Link. I wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door. Try touching the door. Hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening. There's something about this crest that tickles my memory. Hey, why not draw this emblem on your map so we remember it later on? Uh... I'm really bad at drawing, and you're all going to be very upset about it. I want you to know. <laughs> so fucking bad. You know, I feel like this is just exposing myself for how unsteady my hand is. And I feel like, I feel like you guys are mocking me, and it's kind of starting to hurt my feelings. And I feel like you guys need to stop being so mean. <laughs> There we go. Out of all the villains in the DC Universe, the only two that come to mind that need to get clapped are Darkseid, Trigon, and Joker. The rest are actually kind of redeemable with rehab and therapy. If Harley Quinn can be somewhat good guy, then the rest can too. Why not put a key in the giant keyhole, you stupid fucking fairy? Well, we don't have a key. I don't have a key to put in the keyhole. Um... Hmm. Yawn. I feel like there's an extra pathway up here that I don't know about, and I just need to find it. I don't know, Chad. Do you think I should tell the random, uh... Do you think I should tell the guy about his father? Do you think I should s resolve the use the sword? The sword is the key. Huh? You found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monsters in there. Hmm, I see. You've inspired me, kid. What drove my dad to go his own way like you? I may just join him and find out. Thanks, kid. He got over his fucking daddy issues hella quick. I see you found my husband's hideaway. I'm sure he'd be irritated if we were still among us today. Then your husband's a bitch. Okay, I'll have to tell you. Maybe he should get the fuck over it. Um, yeah, I have no idea. What is this? Yo, hello? What? So I don't know what's up with that. Okay. I don't know. All I know is I took note of it, and then we're going to probably uh, keep going. Let's see. I kind of want to get back on the boat. Should have let him rot in sorrow, Edgy. He didn't deserve to know. Three. Oh, the three. Okay, I got you. I should have let him rot in sorrow. But no, he w he's adventurous. He wants to go out and adventure. It has been one hour and 22 minutes. Um, let me see one more thing, because I'm going to forget about this if I don't do it now. Let's go see what random thing is between the three rocks down here that the game is telling us about. I want to see what it is. If it's nothing good, then oh well, but... That's all right. Onward, my good men! Yeah, trying to, like, angle this without actually looking is fucking insane. You know, I guess there is a giant fucking island in between these three rocks. Yo? Do my eyes deceive me? That island is marked on our charts, Link. It looks like we can dock there. There! I've just added the isle to your chart. Why not set a course for it? Alright. Huh. Mystery mark, mystery mark, mystery mark, and mystery mark. Now I'm, now I'm excited. I hope he dies adventuring a gruesome death and you'd be to blame, Edgy. In case you don't know what the Injustice story is, Joker makes Superman accidentally kill preg his pregnant wife. That soups breaks into a prison and kills Joker in front of Batman. Then Superman goes berserk and starts leveling cities and forcing counties to come to ceasefires and starts killing villains. Some soups join Superman, others join Batman in an attempt to stop him. Sounds like a mess, bro. 
What is here? Yo, watch it. Kind of scaring me. Calm down. Calm down! Ooh, a courage gem. You calm the fuck down! Start to sound like Moist Critical over here on accident. <coughs> I wish my commentary was good as Moist Critical. That man's fucking hilarious. The shrine is the sp The servant spirits came here long ago in search of the power to defeat evil. The three spirits use spirit gems to gain the power they required. Huh. Interesting. Cool. Hold up. Hold up. S sign. Ten spirit gems will give a great power to a sp will give a great power to a spirit. Twenty spirit gems are required for a spirit to fully realize its power. Okay, so I just need spirit gems to make people powerful. That's interesting. Equip spirits that have been powered up to boost your own abilities. Open the collection screen to tap the spirit icon to equip a powered up spirit. Also, if you tap the same spirit, you will de detect it. You can't utilize the spirit's power unless you equip it. Remember that. Huh. Link. I am the servant of the goddess of spirits that dwells in the spring. I have been waiting your arrival. The spirits that travel with you have not recovered their true strength. To restore their power, you must find spirit gems scattered around the world. Then you must bring them here, collect these, and the spirits will recover their true power. Then, they will be of even greater assistance to you in your quest. Which spirit gems do you want to present? Power! So far, you've located two power gems. You must find eight more power gems before your spirit of power's ability will increase again. Okay. I sounds cool. It's better than Marvel, in my opinion. Um, well, I will say that I think DC and Marvel have different things that are that they're good with. Like I said, I think Batman is interesting. The only time I think Batman is terrible is when he's like in relation to anybody that's in his fan base. Like when I actually watch Batman, like in the TV shows and stuff, it seems like he's rather interesting. Which, from what I understand, DC has really good TV shows. Which, if it's anything like Teen Titans, I can I can attest to that and say it was pretty fucking good. Um, you know. And I will say that uh, Marvel, for the most part, I really enjoyed the, um, you know, the movies. Rather, um, even if I really didn't see, like, the TV shows that much, you know. So, I feel like it's it's pretty much up in the air. I could. It's kind of like how people say, like, oh, is Lord of the Rings better or Harry Potter? Like, I think technically they're more comparable than Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. But it's not like they're particularly, like, so similar that, like, it has to be one or the other, you know? I feel like, uh, you know, it could be interesting. Um, if you want a superhero universe that delivers, watch The Boys. I have heard that The Boys is extremely good. Um, every single person who I've heard who's watched The Boys, has said it's really, really good. And it's kind of funny. It's kind of like when Elden Ring came out. Like, everybody I know who's playing it says it's amazing. And so, like, everyone who, who I know who's watching The Boys fucking loves it. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely something I could probably check out at some point. But I, I'm usually really, like, slow about watching TV shows, etc. Um, but, anyways... I had a wonderful time playing uh, playing my games tonight, and I hope my viewers have a lovely evening as well. Um, I'm going to go take my shower and then probably lay down and everything. Give a chance. The first episode, there's not much action, but the next is good. And it keeps getting better per episode. All right. Well, I will say Invincible is good as well. I usually don't have any time to watch um, TV shows too much, but if I ever get the time, I'm sure my roommate Dylan would love to watch... Uh, the boys with me, because he, lo he loves that show quite a bit. Anyways, you all have a lovely evening. I appreciate you adventuring on the open sea with your edgy pirate tonight. And as always, later losers! Have a good night. Think, edgy, think! What were you thinking? <laughs>